In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three paper options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first option comes, you can see here, this is the paper cut effect I've given at the top. And this is ticked with a cello tape. And then I've created one color ribbon with uh, option number one. You can add it here and you can add the title and the detail text. And I've given the shadow effect at the bottom and the right side. And on my next click, it will show me the option two with a different color ribbon and then the option three. Likewise, I have created two more slides where here you can add six options. And the next slide, I've just tilted a little bit, something like this. Please subscribe my channel PowerPoint University and you can support my channel through PayPal and Patreon. The link has been provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I'm going to change the background of the slide. You can choose any dark color background, any background you can choose. And then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rectangle, draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill either white or light color whichever color which you feel better uh, you can use it then go to insert shapes i'm going to add one more rectangle draw a small rectangle here maybe this much size you can see a shape outline make it no outline and shape fill any good color uh, selection you can do for this rectangle then i want to give a kind of a paper cutout uh, uh, effect here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a uh, oval shape draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key let me just zoom in and i'm going to insert shape and i'm going to add one rectangle on top of this you can see here maybe this much size and make sure that these are all aligned center and then merge shape union i'm just going to bring this one here on this you can see here and i'm just going to hold the shift key and reduce the size and just put it here and press ctrl d add some duplicates here you can see here how much you need you can just add it and make sure that these are all aligned top and then i'm going to select the white paper hold the shift key and check or select one by one all the these options or the shapes and go to merge shape and i'm subtracting so you can see that effect has been created and then you can go to insert shapes and you can add some lines for the paper you can just select the line you can see here i can add the line here hold the shift key so that you get the straight line and shape outline i'm going to give a gray color and go to format shape you can increase the transparency level so let me just zoom in i'm going to keep it here Control D, you can see here how many you need. You can just add it. So I've added four. If you want, you can just group it also. And once this is done, I'm going to give some shadow effect. For that, go to Insert Shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, shape fill, make it black, shape outline, make it no outline, and increase the transparency level, maybe 50 or 60 and then go to effects you can see here soft edges increase the soft edges something like this and let me just increase the size bring this here tilt a little bit bend it something like this and then send this to back so you can see here it comes something like this let me just reduce the size and i'm going to add the other side also press ctrl d bend the other side and then just put it here and this also you send this to back so you can see a shadow effect has been created now i'm going to add a shadow effect to the right side of the page also for that press ctrl d and i'm just going to rotate it something like this and this one go to edit shape change shape i'm going to make it oval shape you can see here and then just bring it here something like this and this also you can send this to back so you have got the shadow effect uh, three sides and now it's time to add the options before adding the options i want to add some cello tape here go to insert you can see here shapes and i'm going to use this free form shape draw a straight line you can see here and then make some zigzag as if you have just cut this uh, cello tape or whatever you call it and then again i'm just doing the same thing you can see here 
and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe you can give orange color and increase the transparency level and just rotate this a little bit and just stick this one here so it looks something like this now it's time to add the text so i'm just going to add zero one here write a line make it white font i'm going to choose a font called oswald uh, any other font of your choice you can use it i'm just going to add it here you can see here and again insert some text here this is for your title you can see here you can just add your title and the title color i'm going to choose the same color which we have used for this if you want we can make it bold and put it exactly in the center and then you can add some detailed text i will just say equals hello rem within brackets so i'm just going to delete some extra text here select this i'm going to use the font called hand of sean make it gray color reduce the font size you can see here and if you want you can just give some spacing center align or left or right align depending on your requirement so you can see here this is ready now i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl g to group it and move it here ctrl d add one here you can see here ctrl d like this you can add and then i'm just going to change the number to two this two three and the color according to the, your requirement you can just change the color so you can see here again this color also i'm just going to change it and this also that's it so you can see here our design is ready i can just select all and put it exactly in the center now if you want to give the animation you can give the animation let me just close this one now let me just ungroup this you can see here and i'm going to group it all except this tape you can just hold the shift key and remove this one and press ctrl g like this and then send this to back so you can see here this is one image or one group and this is uh, not the part of the group so i'm going to do the same thing for this also let me just select both of this ungroup it and then again i'm going to select all including this one and you see here i have not selected this press ctrl g and again send this to back and this also i'm going to select all and group it and send this to back all right now go to the animations enable the animation pane and then i can just select this if you want you can just make it a fly in you can make it from top left right whatever you can see here double click this increase the bouncing and click ok and then i'm going to use the tape i'm going to use the wipe effect wipe make it from left something like this and this should happen after previous all right so like this you can just do it so i'm just going to select this click on the second one again using this animation painter i'm going to do this and then i'm going to do the same thing for this also So let me just show you how it works when I click the first option comes and the tape will be stick to the wall you can see here something like this you can do it.